Elizabeth Joy Burnett reports on some of the demonstrations that did get violent at times today during the inaugural. Abba Joy? Denise, good evening to you. More than 200 people were arrested today, but most of the demonstrations were peaceful. A limousine was set on fire as demonstrators wreaked havoc in Washington, D.C. Police had to push back the protesters so firefighters could get to the flames. Someone damaged the limo earlier in the day, knocking out the windows. A group of people carrying anarchy flags pushed over trash cans and destroyed storefront windows as they swarmed through the streets. A few tried to fight off the police in an attempt to escape. Some officers suffered minor injuries. Police fought back with pepper spray and tear gas. We welcome visitors to our city, um, but we will not de tolerate the destruction of our neighborhoods, and we absolutely uh, will not tolerate violence against our police officers. But as night fell, protesters lit a bonfire just blocks away from the White House. Many demonstrators were handcuffed with zip ties and led away one by one. They're being charged with rioting. At least one person was taken to the hospital. Most of the protesters were peaceful. They say the act of a few hurt their anti-Trump message. These groups that are breaking windows and things like that delegitimizes a lot of the reason the rest of us are here. More protests are scheduled for Saturday. And talking about that uh, protest, more than 200,000 women are expected to take part in a women's march on Washington tomorrow. Denise, I'll have more on that story coming up for you a little bit later in the show. All right, thank you, Eva Joy. Now